Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Morthorpe and I'm one of the Uniting Earth Advocates and today is Storm Sunday. So I've invited my friend Liwana Pali uh, to join me and talk a bit about storms. Um, so our wonderful librarian Moira recently gave me this book um, and this is by one of the world's leading scientists on climate issues. And um, I quite liked the title, Storms of My Grandchildren. I thought that was quite poignant. So, Liwana, mm -hmm. your friends and family live in the Pacific. Yep. What does a storm mean for them? Um, it means disruption. It means uh, just their life and lifestyles being threatened. I think one of the haunting images I still have with me um, was back in 2014 uh, or early 2015 and it was seeing the devastation that one of the biggest storms or cyclones that had hit my father's village in uh, Vavotl, uh, an island in Tonga. Um, and it's just, it's, it's, to see that village in complete ruin was, um, it was hard to swallow. And it's, yeah, it's just, it's not great. Um, and although my, my family are, are very resilient and they're used to it, like this was only what, 2014, um, and these storms have been pretty frequent and more scary at each time. So, um, storms are life threatening. They, um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just, yeah. And we know with climate change that storms are only going to get more frequent and more intense. Absolutely. So that must be scary. Absolutely. Um, however, moving away is not an option for them. This is, this is their home for, for generations. Um, the only reason why my, my dad was, was able to live was because his, his grandparents or his parents um, relied on the land um, to just to bring up. Uh, my dad's generation um, and we hope that that continues to be the source of life for many generations to come um, but that's looking very unlikely uh, as you know as climate change just continues um, and the impacts get worse um, it's yeah the future's not looking great for my family So uh, one of the things that inspired our recent climate resolution that's just been passed at Synod is yes. our love for our Pacific brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. um, and how do, how do you feel about hearing the, about that resolution? I'm so excited. Congratulations, by the way. Um, oh, I, I'm profoundly just very um, proud that the church has, is wanting to take this step. Um, and taking their role as, as stewards and caretakers of the earth more seriously. Um, it's it's going to mean some work, um, but I, it's, I'm feeling more hopeful for the Pacific, um, if anything. I, and I can only imagine the, the gratitude that um, the Pacifica people will, will definitely feel. Um, when they know and learn that the United Church or the Al Synod is um, taking um, taking this step towards ensuring 1.5 degrees, so I'm so excited. Um, so good. One of the things, particularly led by our young people, also was um, that our whole church would support the school strike. Um, yeah. And we have the next one coming up on the 20th of September. Yes. Um, and um, I'm sure that you're helping to organise all of the Pacifica people to come along to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm also I'm wearing the hat of one of the Pacific Climate Warriors. We definitely want some of our warriors um, there. So, yeah, very excited. Um, yeah. And we hope all of you will That's be there awesome. as well. Absolutely. Um, so, Liwana, another hat that you wear is as a uh, campaign lead for Voices for Power. Yeah. Would you like to tell us a bit about that? Sure. So, Voices for Power is a community organising campaign um, that is supported by the Sydney Alliance. 
It's a campaign that sees up to seven migrant and religious communities in Western Sydney organised for affordable and more um, clean, efficient energy. We know that there will be a transition towards renewables um, across Australia and um, often a lot of our migrant communities are not just migrants, um, but a lot of us will be left behind. Um, some of the challenges that comes with, you know, shifting to a more cleaner based um, energy is, you know, the financial upfront costs um, and a lot of us are perhaps living in rental housing, social housing areas. Um, so there's not a whole lot of control and so a lot of our people will be left um, left out of the, the, the this transition, this move to transition. So this campaign is really looking at how do we make um, cleaner and more affordable energy more accessible, not only just for our seven communities, but for all. Um, and it's just, these aren't voices that are typically represented um, in the environmental movement and it's really a, a campaign that um, wants to uplift these voices that, that has made significant contributions to the social fabric of Australia. So that's really the campaign. Um, we're in our second year. Um, we've, we've heard and listened to a lot of their experiences with the energy market and um, with their, their need to go renewable. And a lot of these communities come, that come from home communities that are impacted by climate change. Um, so they're ready for action. They're ready to keep political uh, decision makers accountable um, and are willing to work with the government on, um, on solutions for affordable and clean energy for all. So um, yeah, it's an exciting space to be in. Um, it's great to, uh, it's great uh, and just very personally enriching with uh, the relationships that I've been able to build across these communities. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. It's a great campaign. Awesome. Yeah, thanks.